Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to start working in the magic loop. So essentially what you need are two needle tips attached to a long cable. You can't have a cable that's too long, but you can have a cable that's too short. So it's, if you're uncertain, it's better to go long rather than short. Here I've cast it on 30 stitches using the German twisted or the old Norwegian cast on. So I've got 30 stitches on my needle that I cast it on. And now I'm ready to start working in the round with a magic loop. So the first thing I need to do is I need to divide the stitches by two. So if I have 30, I need to count 15 here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, which is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring them down and I'm going to pull a loop right in the middle, right where I have 15 and 15. And I'm going to put both sets of stitches on the needles. Granted, usually you have more than just 30 stitches. If you're doing socks down or something, you'll have more like 60 stitches, 62. So you'll have a lot more stitches to work with than what I have here. So I've got my 15 on top and 15 on the bottom and they're connected on the one side. So I'm going to turn so my tips are pointing to the right. And very important, I want to make sure that there is no twist on my stitches. Now I'm using the German cast, German twisted cast on because it's a fairly solid cast on. You can see that the stitches are holding on tightly, but they're not too tight that I can't slide them up and down my needles because that could always be a problem. It gets too tight and you just can't get them past that little hump there. So with this cast on, I can and it's solid enough that my stitches aren't swimming around my needles, twisting and turning all the time. You want to avoid having a twist. If you have a twist, like for example, this, you will end up with a Mobius cast on. You will not be able to wear this as a hat or a sock, but as a scarf, yes, it's not the end of the world. So, if it's something you're wearing, like a tube for a sock, a hat, or anything else, or even a sweater or anything, you need to make sure that there are no twists and that all the stitches are either facing inside, which they are here, or facing outside, whichever you prefer. I just find it's easier with them facing inside and I make sure they're all facing inside. No twisting here, no twists, no twists, and everything's good. Once I know everything's good for the first round, I need to be super careful to make sure I don't get a new twist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my left index finger and I'm going to use my middle left, th uh, middle left finger and my left thumb to pinch these closed. So I am trying to assure the fact that these will no longer twist. Once I'm like this, I'm ready to get started with my magic loop. So I have one loop on one side. I need to create a loop on this other side so I can work. I'm always going to pull the needle that has the working yarn attached to it. So the top needle has the working yarn attached to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that needle out as such. Usually, if you're doing a sock or a hat, you need to do a rib, knit two, purl two, knit three, purl three, knit one, purl one, whatever it is. So I like to start with a knit. You need to bring your, your, your needle underneath your yarn for that first stitch so that your yarn 
is now in the back ready to be knitted. You push the stitches towards the tip and you go ahead and knit across that first needle. Some stitches will be tight and that's okay. I work with just the tippy point of my needle to get those. So I'm going to do knit two, purl two, knit one, knit two, and purl two. And I'm going to work across the whole front of my needle. Now, if you've noticed, I've let go. My index is no longer holding my stitches from twisting because I have already joined my two ends. The probability of my stitches twisting is fairly minimal. So I can let go and just work on this more comfortably. Into purl two. If you notice, I also have two loops. I have the loop that I have on this side and I have a loop on this side. So I have my two loops. Um, knit two. And I'm just going to, I have one stitch, so purl one. Okay, so now I finished one needle, but that's not a full round. That's just one needle. I need to work through both needles to work a full round of my circle. So I need to turn my work clockwise. So I'm here and I'm turning my work clockwise. So now I've got this. I've got my, my stitches on this needle that I just knit and I know I've just knit them because my working yarn is coming from there. So my working yarn is coming from here and I've got my other stitches I haven't worked on my cable. So what I usually do is I hold the tip of this because I don't want to lose those stitches and I just pull the cable through and I just keep pulling until I reach the edge of my needle as such. Once I'm there, I hold on to my stitches on the cable of this needle and I pull my tip where the working yarn is coming from, I pull that out. So I pull it out. And now I can go ahead and push these stitches in. The reason why I pull this needle out before I push these in is because the stitches on the edge here, I'm going to start pulling tight so I don't get this strand of yarn here. So for me to be able to get the stitches up and over this, I need to have a little more um, yarn or more flexibility. And I can get that by putting these stitches on the cable. So I'll put these stitches up here and now I'm ready to work these. At this point, I shouldn't have a twist because I have already made sure that when I joined them here, there was no twisting in my work. So my stitches should all be still facing the same direction, which they are, and I shouldn't have a twist. If for some reason you're afraid and you think you have a twist, this might be the one time that you can correct. After this, it gets really hard and you won't be able to. You can correct by bringing the needle in between this, but in my case, that creates a twist. So I don't need that. I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm going to go ahead and continue my knit to purl two. I had already, um, purled one, so I need to purl one. So I bring my yarn forward. 
yarn forward and I purl one. When I'm doing this first stitch, I want to make sure I try and bring it as close as possible to the cable by pulling my working yarn really tight. And now I go to knit two. And purl two all the way to the end. Obviously, I've only got 30 stitches, so I'm going to end with knit two, which isn't ideal because I started with knit two, but it's a sample, so it's okay. So here I am. I know now I have done a full round because I'm back at my tail yarn. So I know now I have knit a full circle around my project for my magic loop. So now I'm ready to do my next round. I just finished. I'm going to turn my work clockwise. I'm going to pull my cable through till I get to my needle. Keep pulling. Ah, there's my needle. I'm going to pull my tip at the top. I'm going to pull that, pull that out and bring it around to start working with these stitches that I need to push back onto my needle. And yes, this is going to be um, finicky trying to get used to it, but you will. And once I'm here, I'm ready. Knit two, so I bring my yarn in front. And then knit two. Again, I want to pull tight here. Did you see that? If I, I can leave it loose and you see how long that strand is, or I can just pull my working yarn so my stitch goes as close as possible to the cable and I'm minimizing the gap there. So I pull tight and then I keep knitting. And I go all the way around to the other end. And I keep working in this manner until I get the length or the stitches I need or whatever the pattern says I need to do. Magic loop is great. You can have as few as four or even two stitches and be able to work. Or you can have as many stitches as you want and still be able to work. It is very, very versatile. And once you get used to it, it is very comfortable and and easy to work with. I get I finished my my half of my row. Turn clock, clockwise. I pull my cable through, and then I pull my needle out. Push my bottom needle in. And again, if ever you were hesitant as to which needle has to knit, you know that if your working yarn is coming out from one of the needles, that means if my working yarn is coming from here, I've already done, I've already worked those stitches, so I have to work the other side. So my working yarn is coming from here, and it's always on top of. So now I'm ready to work my other half. Bring my yarn in front because I'm purling. And again, once I reach my tail yarn, it means I have finished a full circle. I have worked both needles, both sides of my circle, and that means I finished a second round, which is a case here. And we can see 
the rib starting to come. Now, if I wanted to pull these down into my loop and just see what it looks like, I can totally do that. Get rid of my magic loop thing, and here we go. I have my full circle. This is a tiny, tiny sock. <laughs> And then if I want to, I can divide it anywhere I want. Usually it's just best to have it in the middle because you can see better what you're doing. But if I always like to start with a knit, I can come and divide it right here. So I have my two knits together. I can come and pull it through here. As long as I remember where is my beginning and that I can tell by my tail yarn or I can put a marker. And let's say I put this down and I forget where my starting point is again. My tail yarn, my, my working yarn indicates the stitches that have been worked, which are these. So I have to work the other one. So I push my needle in those and then I'm ready to start working these. The other great thing about Magic Loop, if you're on the go or somewhere, you can always pull all your stitches down and they are safe. They're not going to come flying off your needles. You're not going to lose anything and you can just fold it all up and stick it in your bag and nothing's gonna happen. So it's a great way of traveling and not losing your stitches. Um, so I hope this was helpful.